Yeah. We certainly are. I just wonder whether this might be decided from a tactical tweak by one of the two managers. Both quite like changing their formations for specific contests, and we might see some surprises out there. Well, they're coming at him. Cesc Fabregas. Tottenham untroubled defensively because they work so hard, they keep the ball. An incisive pass. Eden Hazard is offside. Jan Vertonghen. It's Eric Dyer. Lucas. Just couldn't hang on to the ball, Lucas. Marcos Alonso. Morata. I think this is a pretty even fixture. But Chelsea will be going out all the way to try and win it. Good defensive clearance there. Lucas. Kieran Trippier. Chelsea trying to get their act back together again after that home loss in their last game against Everton. Never got started in that 4-0 defeat. The managers told them in no uncertain terms. I think they'll bounce back with a draw here. Hazard this time goes for the cross. It's not really a way. Poor clearance. That's uh, straightforward enough for the goalkeeper. Good hands, but it would have been a surprise if he dropped it. Yeah, kept his eye on the ball. Good handling from him. Pedro. Proper tackle, that. He got there just in time. In the end, a fantastic clearance. Now Kane. Kane slips it through. Eriksen to confront the goalkeeper. And that's a corner for Tottenham Hotspur. Ericsson's corner. Alderweireld can put them in front here, but he's missed it. A really wasted opportunity. He'd have been a popular boy in that dressing room if he'd have scored there. Marcus Alonso. Quick-witted and quick in his movement too to intercept there. Kane. It's offside, and the referee's given it. David Luiz. Marcos Alonso. Now Fabregas. Here's a chance to just stretch the opposition with a bit of width. Patience is the name of the game at the moment. And that's safely away. Says Fabregas. Alvaro Morata. Now to Fabregas. Challenges for the ball. Conte! Poor attempt at a pass, really. Chelsea have yet to make much of an impact on this game. Hazard gets his cross in. Cleared away by the defender. And the opposition will get a throw here because they've tried to play it into the wide areas. And they couldn't find the uh, play that they were trying to pick out. Saved his side, really, with that interception. Ericsson. Neatly intercepted. He's got the technique to deal with the press. Kane. Guiding the pass through. What a save. And that's a corner for Tottenham. Well, at first sight, Alan, I must say it didn't look like a goal. It's good to have the replay because that helps us if it's tighter. But that wasn't one of the tighter issues. No, I think we all knew it wasn't over. Although one or two of the forwards were appealing. Son! He's gone in with the header, but the ball nowhere near going into the net. I think it's come off the top of his head, that one. Lucas. Kieran Trippier. Here's Dyer. The shot's on! And it's Kepper, who's done well here, but it wasn't the most difficult save in truth. He 
can take the defenders on out wide here, Aiden Hazard. It's a cross from Aiden Hazard. Well, he has cleared the danger. And there is the half-time... Very even first half. It's not always been the case between Spurs and Chelsea. But Tottenham doing well. And the second half is underway. Yeah, maybe they hold a slight advantage now. Next 45 with their fans behind them. Tottenham Hotspur in possession here. The break is definitely on. Maybe just missed, kicked it a little bit there. And the pass goes straight to the opposition. Steered through. Pedro. Alvaro Morata. He's got his shot off now. And it's Fabregas with the goal. He got forward well, took the chance. And it's Cesc Fabregas on the score sheet here. So it's Chelsea in the lead. Toby Alderweireld. Eriksen. Davis. Song. And they get it away. Just a little nudge to nudge you in the direction of what's coming up on EA Sports for you. Our coverage of the Premier League fixture. Spurs, they'll be facing Arsenal away from home. Yeah, it's got a good feel about it. That... And shoots! Oh, charge down. Well, a corner to come because of that deflection. Well, off is the goal-scoring midfielder. Well, he's getting a good clap, and uh, the fans here love him because he always puts in 100% effort. Ericsson's corner. Good header back into the danger area. That's Filiqueta. And it's been an hour of very good football here. We've still got 30 more minutes to go, and I'm sure we're going to enjoy that as well. Kieran Trippier. And there is some uh, backup for him in this position. And the keeper can collect this one. Alan, what about Chelsea's next game? They're playing Fulham in the next match. And I think it's a one-goal game here either way. And Tottenham get it back again. It's a very good interception. David Luiz. Now Rudiger. Now Rudiger. That's very well cut out at an important time. Musa Dembele. Well, the Spurs fans rise as one. Not much time left now. That's an easy cut out for the opposition. Saw the pass coming. Lucas. Back on the ball now, Chelsea. Good vision. Azar. Good defensive clearance there. Spurs fans can be very demanding. They are demanding an equaliser here. Well, I'm not sure. We're guided through. On the attack, in a wide area, Tottenham Hotspur. A chance for the equaliser. Not far away at all. Well, if they keep creating chances, I'm sure they'll take one. That was a decent effort, you know. And this is going to be a change here for the team that is leading. And it's clearly a tactical one to try and cement that winning position Coming onto the pitch, number eight, still seven minutes left on the clock Victor Waniyama okay shot on and that shot's blocked very quickly a corner and this could be vital in goes the corner the shot's on So not much time left at all. What does this mean, Alan, for their next game? Takes on the shot!
that's out of danger there with that clearance. And the players face another two minutes added on by the referee. Victor Waniyama. No nonsense defending from him. And the fight. Well, tension in the air here. It's got all the ingredients, hasn't it? And it's our main feature today on EA TV. Join us soon. Hello once again, I'm Martin Tyler, and this is Stamford Bridge. Well, Fulham playing against Chelsea, of course, having recovered here from relegation in uh, 2014. What a terrible season that was for the Cottagers. Well, they've had a, a lot of instability, haven't they? A lot of changes of managers. They need a bit of continuity now, and that's going to help this team. Here's the Chelsea lineup. As Aspilicueta starts with Marcus Alonso as the fullbacks. In attack, Morata starts. He was man of the match last time out. And here it is for Fulham. This is their team for this match. And the opposition look as though they're going to match it up here. Yeah, two 4 three threes. it looks like. Uh, you don't often see that in today's game, but uh, both these managers like this system. It really is shaping up to be a fantastic season. So much competition, particularly at the top. Well, we haven't got to the halfway mark yet, but I do hope it continues in this fashion. So close. Well, we know it's a big game, so we expect a fair bit from uh, a big name, Aidan Hazard. Well, we'll keep an eye on him for Guiding it through the defenders. Pedro. Looking for Hazard. Gone for the header, and we love to see that, especially you, Alan, but you could head it much, much better than this one. Well, you've got to be committed to those headers, and he wasn't quite. Christie. Oh, he spotted the pass and cut it out. Well, it will be a throw-in. Christie. They spread it out wide here. Chance to get some width into this attack. Patience is the name of the game at the moment. Excellent challenge. Conte. The wide man is Hazard. Fabregas. Morata. It's Chelsea who have broken through. Oh, what a class goal that was all round. A goal for Morata. And it's swerving away all the time from the keeper's grasp. No chance for him. Chelsea are ahead now. Here's Fabregas. Here's Antonio Rudiger. David Luiz. Marcos Alonso. Azar. Saw the pass coming and got there first. That's an easy cutout for the opposition. Saw the pass coming. Oh, it's easy here for the keeper. They've cut the pass out there, and maybe that will ease the pressure. And the whistle has gone because the assistant flag for offside. Johansson.
And it is the interceptor who's done a good job in the wide area. Maybe he'll cross it here. Looking for teammates in the middle. Put away, but not out of... Jotong! It's a corner that Fulham will want to make use of. They are behind. Corner played in. Oh, well done, the goalkeeper. And he's hung on to the ball. Well, Chelsea do hold the lead. But with half-time beckoning, we'll see whether they can get there with that lead still intact. And indeed, Schiller! Well, safe hands from the goalkeeper there. Not the most demanding save, but it had to be made. Yeah, easy, though, to take it a little easy. Take your eye off the ball. Conte. Losing possession, Angola Conte. He's through here. Tom Kearney. It's a good cross. Cleared away, well away from goal. We've got two added minutes. There will be a minimum of two minutes of added time. Oh, he's cut that out well, well read. So it's 1-0 here as the half-time whistle goes. I think that's a good performance, isn't it? And we're ready to go at Stamford Bridge for the second half. Andre Schürrle. Guided through. I think the cross is on. Well, it was considered controlled attacking play, but it's come to nothing in the end. Looking for a through ball. Good work, really, to read the intention of the pass. Bit of space for him. Now out on the wing. Schürrle. The equaliser here. And that's gone behind for a corner for Fulham. And in it goes. Cleared away by the defender. And that's gone out for a throw-in. Well, we'll see this team again soon. This is their next fixture, which we'll bring to you on EA Sports. He's got his shot off now. Kept his concentration, the goalkeeper, and because of that, kept hold of the ball. Yeah, he seems to fill the goal, this lad. He's quite an imposing keeper. Pressed high here. Schürrle. Wonderful chance. Any thoughts on Fulham's next fixture, Alan? They're playing Leicester City in their next match. So much at stake, and I think it will be tense and tight. Well, this could bring them level. Fulham's corner. Well, this is where managers really earn their money in a losing situation. They've got to make a substitution. Got to get it right, really, to have any chance of getting anything from the match. Substitution for Chelsea coming off the pitch. Number four, Seth Fabregas, to be replaced by number 17, Matteo Promessi. On the move and able to cut out the pass. It was put into the right area, but no one able to reach the cross. A lot of defenders between them and the goal, but they still got the ball. And the away team want to make a change. Chelsea lost the ball. Oh, time to get the cross now. Schiller! Great header. Great save. Oh, nothing wrong with that, was that? I thought he was going to score with a header, but top keeping. Andre Frank, Zambo, Angisa. Tim Ream. It's 
Zambo and Kisa made sure the pass wasn't completed. And here's the shot. Just a mistake, really. He's not even asked too much of the opponent. It's just a mishit pass. Makes the challenge here. Very good, Chelsea, today. And good value for a victory that they should now get. You can see the deflection there. Corner. Good ball in by Hazard. Choosing to punch the corner away, the goalkeeper this time. Well, sitting back, it's a bit of a policy here. And letting the opposition come at them, risky. Shots on here. That's the right kind of football dive to turn the shot away. Corner coming up for Chelsea. Well, they're still leading. And they've decided to go for a fresh player in the hope of hanging on to that lead. In by Hazard. Good defensive clearance there. They've worked so hard, the team, to be in front here. And that's been recognised by the supporters. The shot's on! That was close and well hit too. Yeah, he really did get the laces behind it. Well, Fulham need to find something extra here. They're a goal down still. Floyd Aite. Good challenge. Stamford Bridge, show your appreciation for today's man of the match. Number Still three. trying to find an escape route here. That's very well cut out at an important time. The referee has decided to add on two minutes. That's Billy Quetta. Another turnover in play here with that interception. There's the final whistle. It's a win for Chelsea. Well, they've got the lot. They've got the win against their bitter rivals today, their local rivals. Hi there everybody, Martin Tyler here. As the sign says, this is Anfield. And as you would expect alongside me, this is Alan Smith. The game today, Liverpool against Juventus. This is the Liverpool side. Virgil van Dijk plays with Dejan Lovren as the centre-backs. Sadio Mane starts with Mohamed Salah in the wide positions. And just one up front for them today. The Juventus lineup then. Wojciech Szczesny starts in goal. Leonardo Bonucci starts with Giorgio Chiellini as the centre-backs. Sami Kadira plays with Miralem Pjanic in the centre of the park. And the great man is up front today, Cristiano Ronaldo. Mohamed Salah. Roberto Firmino guiding it through the defenders. He's in. Mane! Right from the kick-off. They look like scoring they have now. Sharp from the off. And what a good goal. 
Well, it was a gift. Strikers dream about moments like this. A tap-in. Yes, yeah, not often that you do get what is literally an open goal. And he wasn't going to miss it. It's Liverpool ahead. Moving forward with some danger to the opposition now they're here. And this could bring them level. And it does. Important point in the game. Oh, what a game changer that might be. And I think the momentum's just shifted. A fantastic from the neutral point of view that the game is level again. It is uh, level. Both sides have scored here now. To Robertson. Juventus with so many supporters around Italy. And uh, they're always, every time they play, they're expected to win. Can those fans expect them to win this one? Yeah, I think the weight of expectation can sometimes weigh them down. But uh, in a closer tie, it might suit them. Henderson. It's not really a way. Poor clearance. Just read the intentions of the opposition there to make the interception. Quick passing from Liverpool to open up the opposition if they can. Tibala on to Ronaldo. Jordan Henderson. Miralem Pjanic. Tibala. Certainly wanting to find a teammate, but he's just found an opponent. That'll be a throw now after the tackle. Be interesting to see what footwear the teams are going to actually use today now that this uh, rain is coming down. Might have to change what they originally started with. Yeah, and I think sometimes with the lads wearing blades these days, you do see them slipping a bit more. And uh, it might. So the referee awards a free kick. Now Van Dijk to Robertson. Sadio Mane, room for the cross. Mohamed Salah. Opportunity to cross it now. Mane! And there it is for Liverpool. What a strike that was. Well, coming in from the right, that was so inviting. Wonderful delivery. Great ball, great goal. So Juventus behind in this game. Number 10, Sadio Mane. Tibala. Lovren. To Robertson. It's Sadio Mane. They've set it up well for the cross. And it's now with Liverpool. Cristiano Ronaldo. They've cut the pass out there. And maybe that will ease the pressure. Douglas Costa. Shots on here. And that shot's blocked very quickly. Oh, no scraps for the attackers to feed on from the goalkeeper that time. Hung on to the ball well. Kedira. Dybala. With Douglas Costa. Kedira. Well, one pass away from being a great move. And it will be a free kick here. Juventus with the substitution. Two more minutes to play of added time. Two minutes. Tibala. Ronaldo. The shot's on. Well marked, but not so well marked to stop the shot going in, but maybe had an effect on him. Yeah, I think they did. Two or three defenders close to getting in a block. Well, that is half time, and we've reached it at. So the weather is terrible and it's remained so during half time. There's no respite for the players as they've come out getting another drenching at the start of this second half.
Roberto Firmino. It's Salah now. Trying to get the ball in behind. Brilliant pass. Can he finish it? Defender did well to get to it, but hasn't really finished the job. Well, they managed to get out of harm's way then because it looked as though there was going to be some real damage done to them. Well, plenty of speed, but not much organisation. And the ball lost at a crucial time, anticipated the direction of the pass and was able to intervene. A brilliant first half from this fella. On top of his game out there, and I'm sure he'll be thinking about grabbing his hat-trick in the second half. Sadia threading it through. He's through here. Money! And they've got him to score here. Hat-trick. Goal number three here. And it's a perfect day for the player. They will be signing the match ball for him afterwards because of a hat-trick. Yeah, he won't forget this day in a hurry. Top stuff from him. 3-1 the scoreline as we restart the game. Dybala. And now the shot. Plenty of power, but not too much direction. He's going to trust his goalkeeper's footwork here with a back pass. Van Dijk. Decision is a throw. It was a fair tackle. They spread it out wide here. Chance to get some width into this attack. Short passes, but they're keeping the ball on the move and able to cut out the pass. That's an easy cut out for the opposition saw the pass coming. It's Mane. Clever ball. It's unlike him, really, to play the ball straight to the opposition. Possibilities for Liverpool. Letting the shot go. Oh, it's come off the goalkeeper, still in play. Here's a chance to whip it in. In quickly. Well, the fans went mad when the keeper pulled off that stop. Nobody expected him to be able to do it. Incredible. A chance to break away now on the counter. Frustrating for them, really. That was the opportunity to play on the break, but it's broken down. Mohamed Salah. Now, this is an interesting attack. There's a target at the front post. We've got 10 minutes left on the clock. Well read by the defender. It's Mane. Roberto Firmino. Now Sadio Mane. Salah! And he scores spectacularly! Nothing like for a manager seeing a goal like that. Real team effort. Great understanding between those lads down there. It's a compliment to their attitude to keep on going and widening the lead here. Yeah, thoroughly professional, and the manager will be delighted with that attitude. A very comfortable margin for victory. Can't really be any comeback in the time that we've got left with such a difference between the two teams. Well, the clock is ticking on, two minutes of play left. And the referee says, that's a free kick. Juventus are going to make a change here. Fabinho. Henderson. Roberto Firmino. The pass threaded through. The ball's loose. Goalkeeper made the save, but he couldn't hop. The referee went straight away, pointing to the spot. Penalty kick. Oh, was the contact? Did he dive? Love to see the replay. And that is a foul and a yellow card for the Juventus man. Oh, the ref was left with no choice.
and scores from the spot. No worry about the pressure or the responsibility here, and there's the goal. Yeah, the way he walked up to it, you could just see he was going to score. So confident. It is now an extraordinary lead, and, and that's a win confirmed for Liverpool. What a brilliant performance from this fella. Well, he goes across and grabs the match ball from the ref for hat-trick, and that's guiding it through the defenders. It is that day, the date in the calendar that's ringed with red when the fixtures are announced. Here in the Bernabeu, it's the day that Barcelona come to renew this very intense and at times inspiring rivalry. There aren't many finer sights, I think, in world football than the Bernabeu decked out, mainly in Madrid colours, of course, but uh, Barcelona are going to have something to say out here today. This is the Real Madrid lineup. Keylor Navas in goal. Sergio Ramos plays with Rafael Varane in central defence. Tony Kroos starts with Luka Modric in the centre of the park. Karim Benzema is the lone striker today. Barcelona's line-up here. Marc-Andre Testegen starts in goal. Well, that could have been an early booking for the offender. I wouldn't have been surprised, but the referee's taken a slightly lenient view, I think. Casimiro steered through. Very sharp reaction save from close in. Corner for Real Madrid. Cross with the corner. Keeper goes for the punch from the corner. He's goal. That's an easy cut out for the opposition. Saw the pass coming. Maybe the cross. Aim for Gareth Bale. It's not really away from the threat here. Trying a bit too hard, trying to force the pass, and it went to, straight to an opponent. I think the cross is on. Benzema! He's just put it. Off target, just wide of that post. Well, his teammates were convinced he was going to score there, I think. Neatly intercepted. Excellent work with the tackle. Got the ball, and they're going at the opposition with speed. Well, plenty of speed, but not much organisation. And the ball lost at a crucial time. It's Isco. Benzema. He's given possession away here. Ivan Rakitic. Through pass from Rakitic. Very straightforward piece of goalkeeping as he catches the cross. Is there any other fixture, Alan, that can create such anticipation as uh, Real Madrid, Barcelona, Spain's Clasico? Well, it's got a, a magical ring to it. Sometimes these contests have descended into petty spats, but sometimes you're just treated to fantastic football maybe just miss kicked it a little bit there and pass goes straight to the opposition just read the intentions of the opposition there to make the interception able to cut that out with um, some sharp movement 
Modric. Marcelo. Good work, really, to read the intention of the pass. Bale. Marcelo. Trying to find a way through here. Probing away. Marcelo. Cleared away by the defender. Sergio Ramos. And that's good support as they build this attack. Cleared the ball. Carvajal. Oh, he spotted the pass and cut it out. In with a chance. Plenty of power, but not too much direction. Sergio Busquets. Arturo Vidal. A pass threaded through. Messi. Defended well. Vidal. Lionel Messi. Luis Suarez. Now he can cross it. We've got two added minutes. That's been signaled now. Arturo Vidal. Quick-witted and quick in his movement, too, to intercept there. Well, we're halfway through. It's been pretty sombre viewing for the spectators here. A very dull first half, I have to say. No, shocked me that. Can't get my head around it because there's more than enough good players out on that pitch to give us a lot more than we've seen. Benzema. Well, he'll want to clear his lines here, but make sure it's a bit more than just hoofing it upfield. To put them in front. Pulls it back now. Wonderful reflexes to make the save from close range. Referee's decision is a corner for Real Madrid. And the corner punched away. Carvajal. Benzema. They look at the ref and he says penalty. Didn't hesitate, did he? Pointed to the spot. Well, the referees decided to give the penalty and it's a chance now to take the lead. Well, could be a vital decision, this one, and looking at it, I think he was correcting it. Good penalty. I don't know anyone more confident about taking penalties than him. Yeah, he's a man you can depend on in these situations because he does keep a clear and cool head. It's Real Madrid in front. Barcelona moving smartly here. Now it's Suarez. The shot gets blocked. And the referee spotted that deflection. He's pointed for the corner. It's Messi's corner. And they get it away. Vidal. Samuel Umtiti saw the pass coming and got there first. Well, the ball's been deflected out, so it'll be a throw-in. Arturo Vidal. Luis Suarez. Good challenge here. Well, some of the fans there thinking that should be a corner, but it's a throw. Good interception. Played in behind by Coutinho. Modric. 
Just read the intentions of the opposition there to make the interception. Sergio Ramos. Benzema. Marcelo. In towards Bale. Great chance to get a greater hold on the game. They might just live to regret that miss. This is a key moment for the manager. He knows he's got the lead, and he's now going to do his best to try and retain that. Well, the wide man can show his skills here. Cross looking for Benzema. He has cleared it well. Danny Ceballos. Luis Suarez. Sergio Busquets. Anticipated the direction of the pass and was able to intervene. Maybe just missed, kicked it a little bit there and pass goes straight to the opposition. Going for goal! Wow, that was close. It was a real drive too. Flipped off the frame of the goal, I think. Well, he's well known for striking the ball cleanly. He certainly did there and centimetres away from scoring. Luis Suarez. Suarez! Fine save he's made there. And he's not let the ball escape his grasp. And we have nine remaining minutes. Really getting at the opposition this far up the pitch now. Well, we're in the last knockings of the game, but we're still on the edge of our seats here. It's that close. The noise levels have gone up even more. And the scenario remains the same. The one goal lead. And we're into the last ten minutes. By well, the way things are shaping up, it looks like the home team are going to see out this lead. But still chance for things to change. That's a good spot by the defender. Benzema. Marcelo. Benzema. Bit of space to go forward into with the ball. Here's a chance to whip it in. Carvajal. Sergio Ramos. The shot's on! Really good defending. If he hadn't touched it, it was a goal. Now, one of the keepers that takes on the shot. Well, he was grateful to be able to... And it's a win here as the final whistle goes for Real Madrid.
Well, the wait is almost over. We are down to the last game of this terrific competition. Two extremely good teams will go head to head for the trophy itself. Moments away from the kickoff, and we're live. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the FA Community Shield. I'm Martin Tyler, and with me, I'm delighted to say, Alan Smith. Yeah, hi, Martin. And I played in a few of these, and as they call it, the traditional curtain raiser. Not always easy to find your best form. You're still at the end of pre-season, so the lads aren't fully fit yet. The game today, Tottenham versus Manchester United. This is today's Tottenham Hotspur team. Hugo Lloris starts in goal. Thiago Silva starts, making his debut. Ilya Ramendi plays with Victor Wanyama in central midfield. Harry Kane is the main striker today. This is then the Manchester United lineup. Well, we've gone with a 4-3-3 formation here for them. Is that the way you see it, Alan? Yeah, I mean, it can be adjusted. It could almost be a 4-5-1 if they decide to come over all defensive, this team. But uh, if they're on the front foot, that three up front can cause the opposition back four some problems. Lingard. Well, he's put it away brilliantly. That kind of chance has come to him so early in the game. But I have to say, he reacted perfectly. Really sharp right from the off. And they've taken the lead here. Manchester United in the lead. Now Lingard. Rashford. That's a serious situation, and on he goes. Defended well. Christian Pulisic. Here's Harry Kane. Pulisic. Deflected behind. A clear corner. And in it goes. Oh, that's good defending. Got to keep the ball here under some pressure. Pogba. Lindelof. Trying to steer it through. Put in from the wide area. Here's Ali. Now Kane. Spurs couldn't keep it. Now Lingard. Looking for an opening with some good control build up. And shoots! Well, he's tried for his second goal of the game. The keeper's got the better of him this time. Well, you thought there was only one winner there, but in the end, it was the, the keeper that came forward and did the business. Chris Smalling. Fred. United couldn't keep it. Song. Could be dangerous. It's Son who takes it on and goes for the heart of the opposition. He's got it away, and that's what you have to do. Sergi Roberto. Just a case of finding the spare man is always available in their own half, and the opposition letting them do this at the moment, although they are trailing. Well, that's over the top of the defender, and one to chase. It's Lingard. Well, then it goes. Oh, very easy for the goalkeeper there. Fred Pogba on the move and able to cut out the pass. Plenty of space out wide and they're going to use it. Here's Ali. Pulisic. Deli out. This might be an opportunity to get level. Just lost their scoring touch at the moment, Spurs, and they needed it then to get level. Just seems to be a, a slight lack of confidence in the team. And that's the referee's decision. Two added minutes. And he could get away here. And he goes for the chip. 
tried to chip the keeper cheeky yeah did the first bit right getting it over the keeper but just too much on it Rashford well at half time in the FA community been looking good for Manchester United in the first half at least we'll see what they do in the second half now Alex Telles, Pogba, trying to stretch the opposition using the wider areas here. Good work, really, to read the intention of the pass. Christian Pulisic, Alex Telles. Well, they've been trying to get this deal done for some time, I gather, Alan, but it's now completed for Bayern Munich. Well, it uh, went on for a few weeks, a lot of negotiations by the sound of it, but in the end, about £70 million, maybe money well spent. It was a very uh, good effort earlier, wasn't that, Alan? Here it is. Corner's taken. Cleared away by the defender. He's got his shot off now. He's blocked the shot well. Kane. Spurs can push up now. Coming in towards Kane. Should really deliver from this position. But the defender in the way. Deli Alley. Fred. Rashford. And it's been an hour of very good football here. We've still got 30 more minutes to go. And I'm sure we're going to enjoy that as well. Rashford. And shoots! Well, he scored. And it's a big moment for them in the match. They've pushed their lead now to two ahead. They played well to this point. But sometimes a two-goal lead can be a dangerous one. We'll see. And look at the net pulled in there. Because he has blasted that hole from outside the box. Restarting at 2-0. Deli Alley. Now Kane. And it is time for a substitution in this match. Fred. Lindelof. Sergi Roberto. Nemanja Matic. Well, that is a cheap piece of play to give the ball away like that. I think he saw the look from the other player and saw where the pass was going and read it. Kieran Trippier that's a great interception strong powerful clearance striding forward purposefully whipped in from the wide area defended well Son poor attempt at a pass really they've got numbers in this attack and it looks dangerous Trying to find a way through here, probing away. Working the ball around, working the opposition around. Shots on here. Good block. Nemanja Matic. It's Jesse Lingard. It's a good cross. Well, the clock's showing nine minutes left to play. Oh, he spotted the pass and cut it out. Chris Smalling. Alex Telles. Trying to steer it through. He's in. Real chance now. And that's a corner for Manchester United. Well, we're going to get substitutions from both camps now. At the same time, it'll be a throw and no nonsense clearance from the defender. Alex Telles, Fred, Pogba. Here's Matic, letting the shot go. And there it is for Manchester United.
Well, it's just a footnote to the match, really. It confirms the win. Yeah, I think the goal scorer would be pleased. Another one for, for his tally late on the match here. Well, we're in the last few minutes now, and the die has been cast in this game, really. He's got his shot off now. Well, I can't recall. It's a fine...